Hey there, young explorers. Welcome to Reading Redness Centers, where we make learning fun and engaging. Today, we are going to explore the fascinating world of electricity and circuits. So, let's get started. Electricity is all around us. It's what powers our homes, schools, and even our gadgets. But have you ever wondered how it works? Well, let's start with the basics. Electricity is the movement of tiny particles called electrons. These electrons flow through wires, which are made of special materials that conduct electricity. Imagine you're playing with a toy car on a track. The track is like a wire, and the car is like an electron. When you put the car on the track, it moves along the track because of the force you applied. Similarly, when an electron flows through a conductor, it moves because of the force of the electric current. Electricity is a fundamental part of our universe. It's the flow of these tiny electrons that powers everything from the lightning in the sky to the electricity in your home. Without electricity, our modern world would grind to a halt. It's an invisible force that we rely on every day, but it's also something that can be dangerous if not handled properly. There are two main types of materials, conductors and insulators. Conductors, like copper wires, allow electrons to flow through them easily. Insulators, like rubber or plastic, prevent electrons from flowing through them. This is important because we need to keep electricity safe and controlled. For example, when you touch a metal door handle, you might feel a slight shock. This is because your body is a conductor, and the metal handle is also a conductor. When you touch the handle, the electrons in your body flow through the handle and back into the ground, causing the shock. Conductors and insulators are used in many everyday objects. For instance, the wires in your home are made of conductors, while the insulation on the wires is made of insulators. It's like having a road with guardrails to keep the cars from going off the edge. Now, let's talk about circuits. A circuit is a path that electrons follow to flow from a power source, like a battery, to a device, like a light bulb. When the circuit is complete, the electrons flow through the wire and make the light bulb turn on. Think of a circuit like a road trip. The power source is like the starting point, the light bulb is like the destination, and the wire is like the road. Just like how you need a complete road to get from point A to point B, electrons need a complete circuit to flow from the power source to the device. Circuits can be simple, like a battery powering a single light bulb, or they can be complex, like the wiring in your home that powers multiple devices. But they all work on the same basic principle, a complete path for the electrons to flow. There are two main types of circuits, series and parallel. In a series circuit, the electrons flow through each component one after the other. If one component breaks, the whole circuit stops working. In a parallel circuit, the electrons flow through each component at the same time. If one component breaks, the others continue to work. Imagine you're building a bridge with multiple arches. If one arch breaks, the whole bridge might collapse. But if you build multiple bridges side by side, if one arch breaks, the others can still support the weight. That's similar to how parallel circuits work. Series circuits are like a chain, where each link is dependent on the others. If one link breaks, the whole chain falls apart. Parallel circuits are more like a network, where each component has its own path to the power source. If one component fails, the others can still function. Electricity and circuits are used in many real-life applications. From the lights in our homes to the computers we use, electricity makes our lives easier and more convenient. It's also used in medical devices, like pacemakers, and in transportation, like electric cars. Did you know that some homes use solar panels to generate electricity? These panels convert sunlight into electricity, 
which is then stored in batteries or fed back into the grid. It's a great way to reduce our reliance on fossil fuels and help the environment. Electricity is also used in many industrial processes, like manufacturing and mining. It helps power machines and equipment, making it easier to produce goods and services. In addition, electricity is used in many modern technologies, like smartphones and laptops. These devices rely on electricity to power their processes, memory, and other components. They've become an essential part of our daily lives, and they all depend on the flow of electrons through circuits. That's it for today's video on electricity and circuits. We hope you learned something new and interesting. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Reading Redness Centers for more educational videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.